Bum, 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 bum. So today we're going to predict what happens with the pandemic using bocce balls. Now, if you're new to this, it's based on the scientific principle that all things can be predicted by rolling a hard ball at a plastic water bottle. I think it was Aristotle who came up with this first. I don't remember. It might have been. But we get all set up here. And as you can see, or perhaps you can't, way down there is a water bottle. That water bottle is very far away. If I can hit that water bottle over, then everything will be good. So there's a lot riding on this. There's the first ball. Oh no, we might be in trouble. This pandemic might last longer than I expected. Got a few more balls though. There are eight of them. Seven more tries to end the pandemic. It's all riding on this. But this lame ass, <laughs> that one, that's, that's not gonna get it done. All right. I'm going to back up just to make it interesting. <clears throat> Here we go. Let's end that pandemic. Come on. Come on. Oh. Very close. All right, this ball. This ball says we're all going back to work on May 15th. Ready? Uh-oh. 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 No. Oh, well, it's not May 15th. We've got a few balls left. I don't know, folks. Sometimes fate can be cruel. I'd hate for it to come down to the last ball. Here we go. Fingers crossed. No. So close. All right, there are only three balls left to end the pandemic. Because as you know, the simulation is all wired together. It probably doesn't seem like bocce and a water bottle would be connected in any way to a pandemic. But you'd be wrong. Oh no, not even close. Well, there are two balls left. And this pandemic isn't going to end itself. So there's a lot riding on this one. One more after this. To end the pandemic, I have to hit the water bottle. Possibly. Possibly. Oh! So close. Well, people. It's come down to this. Now, oops, hold on. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Scott, we can't take this chance. And this is where the rules of bocce come in really important. Because it turns out, fortune telling bocce, you can really play any way you want. So there's your pandemic right there. Take that. All right. Cheating? No, that's not cheating. That's fortune telling. It's so different. Um, well, I'm not going to take a chance on the pandemic. Are you kidding me? Want we'll to take a walk in the backyard? <clears throat> I'm going to take you through the the underbrush. You ready? I lost my dog. Snickers! Snickers. Alright. Let's go. Imagine you're in a dune buggy. How fun this would be. Uh, hold on. 
Hold on. Wasn't that exciting? <laughs> Sometimes the dog hides in here. Snickers. Or sometimes over here. If you see any dog in this picture, oh, oh. There are signs of a dog around here somewhere. That did not get there by itself. All right. We have the bait. And it worked. Oh, great. Take the ball and hide it in the bushes again. That's exactly what I was hoping you would do. Now, I wasn't playing fetch. I was just throwing you that ball so that you could run into the underbrush. Never to be seen again. Oh, well. <laughs> you can actually hear the airplane. I will find her. We're going... Oh. Spotted. She thinks she can get away, but we're going to follow her. Wherever she goes. Oh, it turns out I've got black pipe back here that I didn't know I had. Dear God, don't let any... Sorry, I didn't mean for you to see this. I was expecting there to be some dead bodies back here. That is the Livermore Airport. You are correct. I think the neighbors are in their backyard. It's just their family, so they're still separating. There we go. All right, that's enough for now. Uh, I just wanted to tell the, f the f uh, future with Bocce. Snickers, stay. Good girl. Snickers, come. That's a good girl. All right, roll over, roll over. Okay, none of this is working. Okay, I think we're done here. All right, well. It was good seeing you all, and uh, I'll talk to you tonight.